Jenny, were you shaking when you, it looked like you were shaking and like literally physically shaking. I was little, I was waiting for when that rooster head came off and then I saw Donnie. I was waiting for one of those James Bond, like Donnie masks to come off and to be another celebrity. Cause there's no way I thought <laughs> him. And I lost my footing. My knees started to buckle and I fell on the ground and I was shaking for about an hour. Founding member of New Kids on the Block. And then all I can envision in my head was that moment in Game of Thrones when she's doing her atonement walk and it's just shame, the shame bell. Right. Because I'm like, I know all of Twitter is going to hit me up going, what's wrong with you? Jenny, you are really close to your husband. How don't you know that voice every time you hear it? <laughs> I, I mean, I should, but there was there's a lot of things that you have to put in place before you judge me. One is he tricked me. He mm -hmm. would actually FaceTime me from Mass Singer set dressed as Danny Reagan and say, oh. I'm on set and Blue Bloods. And then he would have me talk. He'd be like, let me say hi to Robin or Nicole or Ken. And they'd be like, how's New York? And he's like, it's freezing. And then he posted on Instagram a picture of him in New York. So my brain is not thinking, done. Yeah, and also, you know, I couldn't really move the way I like to move, typically, you know, well, on stage. Right. I, I, like I did a little butt wiggle and got my hips going and stuff, but I, I had a, a, a little to slight tear in my calf muscle from wearing those talons on my feet and trying to dance. And I also had a big tail that weighed about 10 pounds and a rooster head that weighed about another 25 pounds. So I don't think, my moves were as precise and quite the moves that she would recognize. But thousands of his fans knew who, exactly who it was the moment he opened up his mouth. Okay, so here's what I want to know. That you're going to these great lengths to fool your wife. At what point, like, what do you do at night? After you finish shooting, where do you go? Well, typically, so what I have to do is really focus on her schedule. So oh. one of the, the lucky things for me is East Coast and West Coast are three hours apart. So if I'm on in New York shooting Blue Bloods in a bubble and she's in LA shooting Mass Singer in a bubble, our hours don't always align. And when she's on the panel, she can only use her phone for very short amounts of time because they don't want the panelists, you know, Googling right. or holding up Shazam or trying to recognize the voice, right? So right. they have to, they have certain restrictions that allowed me to have windows of time that generally speaking, we talk every five minutes when we're not together. Like we're constantly right. like, we don't like look at our friend and go, what'd you think about the game last night? I'll call her <laughs> like, what'd you think about this? You know, we talk 24 hours a day. So when she was working and when I'm working, it gave me enough windows of time to sort of sneak around and, and do what I had to do. Jenny, there were clues throughout the season. Did any of them any of them kind of turn on or spark anything in your head that it could possibly be your husband? Wait, let me give you a little secret. They they inserted some of those clues yeah. at and post. So we didn't necessarily see some of those clues. Yeah. There were some obvious ones that I went, eh, but there were definitely some inserted later, possibly on purpose. So I didn't really sniff it out too much. Yeah. Really? Okay, because you, yeah. I mean, I literally, I know how close you two are. You two are like the couple. Like, I would think if you saw a man walking down the street from behind, you'd say, that's my husband right there. You'd be like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, that's my husband, the she guy would. in the crowd. She the would recognize yes. my butt from anywhere. She that's would recognize saying. my butt from anywhere, but there was a giant tail in the way. There was a giant tail giant in the way. Giant tail. Mm. How much fun, <laughs> Donnie, was it to be a part of Jenny's world in this way? You know, oh. knowing that you were pulling this off and like each and every time you go on looking out at her, what was that like? You know, it's like I'm a Disney character at <laughs> Disneyland in, in the goofy costume, right? And I'm looking through a screen at them and wondering like, are they feeling this? Are they vibing with me? Are they, did they, cause they all hated Cloodle Doo. 
before I performed. So I was like, are they gonna even, they might like throw me off the stage. That was the fun part, I will say, because he was a disruptor, you know? So every time he like changed the clues and we were literally verbally abusing him all season. Like, we hate you. And I'm thinking back to everything that I said. I'm like, I can't stand that character. Who is that person? Just total shade. And then his head comes off and I lose my head. Yeah, I had to literally (laughs) say to myself, just do the best performance you can do. If they stop you and throw you off the stage because they hate Cloodle Doo, then there's nothing you can do about it. Just roll with it and see what happens. I just, you know, I I just had to focus on what I had to do. And And you were amazing. Thank you. All right, look, we are gearing up for a big finale week here. Um, How was it for the unmasking this week, Jenny? Oh, so hard. And I know every season we're like, it's the most difficult finale ever, but it truly is. The three that are left, Chameleon, Piglet, Black Swan, are professionals. Like these are some iconic pros. And I'm so grateful they started to include a live audience to vote. So the pressure's not on all us. You can't get mad at just the judges, everybody. (laughs) America's voting also. It is going to be a tough one because they all slay. Yeah. Who do you think walks away with Golden Air? Oh, well, you know, I always like to toot my own horn, but I obviously did not do that great of a job Mm. this year. But who knows? You'll have to tune in to see. Ken and I are tied right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I like that. Donnie, are you any more surprises for Jenny? I mean, anything else you got up your sleeve? Um, Better not. Yeah. You know, Uh, um, and, and here's the other thing. Did you know who everybody was? Did you know who? Yeah, did you know who anybody else was? I would be the worst judge on Masked Singer. I would never guess anyone. I don't know who anyone is. I'm literally like, you know, watching it and I don't know who anyone is. And I've watched it on TV and Jenny's like, that's Donnie, that's my husband. And I'm like, is it me? It doesn't, does it sound like me? Like, I don't know, you know, I'm good with faces. That's why I play Danny Reagan. I'm not good with voices. That's right. why she's the golden mirror and I'm not. Leanne Rimes is coming back for the finale, right? That'll be big. She is, yes. She was one of my favorite, along with T-Pain throughout yes. all the season. And man, she's got a voice on her. And she makes a pretty good judge, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, what is the difference for her from being having the costume on to now and sitting on the other side? Relief. That's what I'll say, relief. And, you know, she has like Donnie empathy towards these, you know, artists who have to get up there each week and perform. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. Like legendary performers have struggled under the mask. Yeah. You know, and yeah. And so you then you take someone who doesn't even sing, who's getting under there and trying to actually pull it off. It's it's gotta be very stressful.